Do you struggle to get your videos ranked in YouTube search and YouTube suggested videos? In this tutorial, you'll learn how to research the correct keywords for YouTube videos in 2019 using YouTube search and a TubeBuddy research tool. If you follow these steps, you'll not only rank your videos and grow your audience, but grow your channel. Hello, my name is Herman Drost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so be notified whenever I upload new videos. When you spend time up front researching the correct keywords for YouTube videos, you won't waste time creating videos that don't rank or only get a few views or subscribers. Ideally, you wanna create videos that lead to long-term growth for YouTube channel so you'll have evergreen traffic machines working for you 24 seven year after year. Here are the steps for how to do keyword research for YouTube in 2019. Number one, create a video series based on a theme. Instead of thinking about one video topic and one video, think about a series of videos based upon a particular theme. For example, I recently created a video series on how to rank YouTube videos fast in 2019. While building a series, I put them in an official playlist and link each video to that playlist. Number two, identify your main keyword phrase. Use the auto suggest feature in YouTube search to find keyword suggestions. For example, if I enter the main keyword phrase, how to get six pack abs, I get a bunch of suggestions. If I go through the alphabet and put A, B, C, or any letter of the alphabet, then I get even more suggestions. So how do I choose the correct keyword phrase to use for my video title? Number three, search volume. If you install the free Chrome extension Keywords Everywhere, you'll see the search volume displayed next to the keyword phrase. The search volume refers to how many people are searching for that phrase on YouTube every month. Another tool you can use is the Google Keyword Planner tool. If I click on find new keywords, enter how to get six pack abs, you can now see all the keyword suggestions by relevance. So you've got six pack, abs workout, six pack abs, ab roller, etc. Here is a search volume per month. Here's the cost per click, what advertisers are willing to pay. You got the average monthly searches and here is the competition. So using the free Google Keyword Planner, you get all these free suggestions. Another handy tool you can use is Uber Suggest. So if I enter how to get six pack abs, click search, I get the search volume, search in optimization difficulty, paid difficulty and cost per click. If I scroll down, I can see other suggestions. If I click on keyword ideas, then I've got all these suggestions listed. On the right here, I've got all the websites that are appearing in the Google search engine. You've got 56 keyword ideas or suggestions. And if I click related, then I've got another 655 keyword ideas. These keyword suggestions are what people type into Google. The volume is the number of searches this particular keyword has during a month. The CPC is the average cost per click if you wanted to pay Google to be seen as an ad. PD is the estimated competition in paid search, and SD is the estimated competition on organic search. The higher the number, the more competitive. If you want to export these keyword suggestions to an Excel spreadsheet, click Export to CSV or Copy to Clipboard. How can I find frequently asked questions in my niche based upon my main keyword phrase? Go to answerthepublic.com and enter your main keyword phrase. You now see a bunch of questions related to your niche. If you have the Chrome extension Keywords Everywhere installed, you'll be able to see the search volume for that specific question. Step four, research your competition. For example, if I enter the very competitive keyword phrase, how to get six pack abs in the YouTube search engine, I get many videos that contain that title. For example, the first video has 11 million views in six months and the channel has over 2 million subscribers. The second video, which is called How to Get Six Pack Abs Fast for Summer 2018, has over 3 million views and a channel has over 3 million subscribers. So obviously that keyword phrase would be very hard to rank for. If I lengthen the keyword phrase to How to Get Six Pack Abs in Two Weeks, I've got very good volume and I've got a cost per click of 0.21 cents. I've also got a good keyword score from TubeBuddy, which I'm going to talk about later. I can see that not many of these videos have the titles, how to get six pack abs in two weeks. So this would be a good phrase to go after. If I enter how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home, I get an even better keyword score. And also there's no competition because the title is not in any of these video titles. Another thing to keep in mind is how old the video is. For instance, this top video is three years old. The second video is seven years old. This third video is one year old. 
fourth video is one year old also, the fifth video is two years old, etc. So if you create a video with more updated information, then it'll be easier to rank for that particular keyword phrase. Is there a faster way to do keyword research for YouTube in 2019 and save a ton of time? Absolutely. Continue watching. Install the free Chrome extension TubeBuddy. I highly recommend upgrading from the free version to the paid version of TubeBuddy so you can get much more keyword suggestions. Use the promo code HermansBuddy to get 20% off. Click the link in the description to get TubeBuddy now. After you install the TubeBuddy extension, click on the TubeBuddy icon. Here it will show you the popular tools and features of TubeBuddy. You've got Keyword Explorer, Thumbnail Generator, Health Report, Video A-B Testing, Bolt Processing, Comment Moderation, Best Practice Checks, and Video Lytics. you also got Industry News, and you got Milestones. Click on the Launch Keyword Explorer now, Enter your main keyword phrase, How to Get Six Pack Abs, Immediately you see the YouTube suggestions. Click Explore and you can see that this is a very bad keyword score because it's too competitive. If you look at the score analysis, you got uh, high search volume, competition is very high, optimization strength is very low, so it's not a very good keyword to go after. You got weighted and unweighted. So unweighted is the general score for how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition. Weighted is how good this keyword is to target for your specific channel based on search volume, competition relevancy, and how you compare to others currently ranking in search. You need to upgrade to a pro license for that. Over here, we've got video searches, web searches, and video topics. But we're gonna look at related. So here we've got uh, how to get six pack abs for kids, how to get six pack abs for two weeks. So let's try that. So according to overall score, it's still very poor. Weighted is very poor, unweighted, is pretty good. So there's a little bit of competition, but this keyword is searched so often it's worth targeting. Click on the weighted tab to see how your specific channel will likely perform for this keyword. So I click on that, then it's get a very poor score. Let's try how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. Now the unweighted score says very good, which is 72 over 100. So this keyword isn't too competitive and has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. Click on the weighted tab above to see how your specific channel will likely perform for this keyword. So click on weighted, and it says very good, 60 over 100. So now I've quickly identified the keyword phrase that I wish to target. How to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. It says the search volume is moderate, the competition is very low, and the optimization strength is very low. So if I put this keyword phrase in the title, description, and tags, I have a great chance of ranking for that particular keyword phrase. I can also quickly check the results. The highlighted words show that these words are used in the title and descriptions of these videos. But as you can see, none of these videos are using how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. So I can quickly and easily see that these top ranking videos don't have the exact keyword phrase how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home in the title and descriptions. So this would be a good keyword phrase to rank for. Then I can just copy this phrase to the clipboard and add it to my Excel spreadsheet. Down the bottom, I've got my recent searches, like how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home, how to get six pack abs in two weeks. If I wanna get more keyword suggestions, I can just go back to my main keyword phrase, how to get six pack abs, and just go through all these related keyword phrases. I've also got web searches, and I've got video topics. I've also got trending. If I put in a very popular keyword phrase, I'll probably get a lot of trending here. Click explore, and you can see that I've got rising related queries in the last 12 months. I've got top related queries in the last 12 months. I can also click on historical. This will show you the trending for Fortnite over the last 12 months. And if I click on map, it will show you the main countries where the search volume is for Fortnite. After you've researched and discovered a bunch of less competitive keyword phrases to rank for, then put them in an Excel spreadsheet so you can refer back to it as you do your videos. Congratulations, you now know how to find the correct keywords to rank your videos on YouTube. Click the link in the card to watch my review of TubeBuddy. Number six, place your keyword phrase in the title, description, and tags. Add related keyword phrases in the other tags. The more relevant your information is in the thumbnail, title, description, and tags, the easier it will be for YouTube to select it for ranking. Another great feature of TubeBuddy is that it shows you all the rankings of your video in the tags. For example, if you look at the tags of this video I published, then you'll see multiple rankings for multiple keywords. And that's just one video. If you want to know the correct way to optimize your YouTube videos, 
then download my video optimization checklist below. If you want to learn more advanced techniques for ranking your videos on YouTube and Google, watch my next video over here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.